Hey everyone, it's Kiki here, and in this video I'm going to be creating my entry piece for Caitlin Keg's contest, in which we have to design a griffin. So, a bird and a feline of some kind. Um, I've decided to pick my favorites. Now, it was pretty easy picking my favorite bird, because I do have like a 1-2-3 list of a favorite bird, which is Raven on top, which is the bird I've picked, and then a red hawk and a gold eagle. The cats, on the other hand, I've had a little bit more trouble with, seeing as how my four favorite cats are all kind of tied for first for their own reasons. So, there's supposed to be a cheat on here too, but I kind of ran out of room. I'll bring him in when I need him. But yeah, so I have a cheetah, snow leopard, black panther, and a white tiger. Now, we can only have one type of griffin, I did ask. So, I am going to take the raven and make sketches of it paired up with all four of the different cats and see which one I like best. And that's the one that I'm going to make my entry piece, but I'm also going to have sort of a separate piece going off of that where I do have all four designs, just because I think it's cool and I want to. So I'm going to focus mainly on the whichever one I pick after I create the initial designs for them and go from there. So let's get into it. I never know how to segue out. So I started off by picking a pose from one of the several reference pictures that I had found that I liked and then picked a set of wings from one of the ravens that I liked and adjusted and stuck them on and then made little changes here and there just to get a general idea of how I would create each of the cats into a griffin form. After I had all of my sketch concepts done, I sort of stared at the screen for a solid 10 minutes and tried to pick which one I liked best, which was really hard because I liked all of them. Except for like the Panther Raven one, I was having, yeah, that one was kind of yeah. Like, the leopard, the tiger, and the cheetah, I was like, I want to do all of them, but I can only pick one! I'll do all of them anyway, but I did eventually uh, decide to use the white tiger as my official contest entry piece, just because I thought that the contrast between the white fur of the tiger and the blue-black wings of the raven would be really nice and just dramatic and a little bit more interesting. I had a little bit of trouble getting the claws positioned and not looking super uber derby. Just like, they were like really derby. <laughs> um, but I eventually managed to get them to a position and size that I felt looked right. Um, the sort of chest feathers, uh, ravens have like a little, f like, chest fluff of feathers that they can poof up a little bit so I in incorporated, incorporated that into it and bringing some of the feathers down onto the front legs as well. And then putting a few little feathers on the face and keeping the cat ears as well. I put a little, put some feathers on there. And I brought the stripes out onto the wings but was going to have them the reverse of the tiger itself and have them white stripes on the black wings because it wouldn't make sense to have black stripes on black wings. Overall I had a lot of fun with this entire picture and it was just, it was fun and it was different and I enjoyed it and I'm glad I decided to participate in it. And I love the background that I managed to create for it and the perspective of it and just the feel of it and just all of it and I love my picture and I'm really happy with it. I've been really happy with a lot of my pictures recently, which is good. This is me rambling again. I'm sorry. That's what I do. I ramble. I don't write scripts. I probably should, but I don't.
I know I've said it in a few of my other videos, but I'm gonna say it again. I really like doing rocks. I don't know why, I just do. They're fun for me, and I enjoy doing them, and I had fun doing them, and I really like how they turned out. I think one of the reasons that I like rocks, and trees as well, is just the organic nature of them. They just kind of tend to make themselves. One of the things that I do is I just get myself a rough outline for the general shape of the rock and maybe go, okay, I want to have a point here and a bump here. But outside of that, I don't actually give myself a direction for the rock. I just kind of start lightening and darkening it and it just kind of makes itself. And I enjoy that and it's fun and I love seeing it just kind of form itself out of nothing and yeah. Okay, I'm done talking about my rocks now. I think. Back to the picture. So once I finished with the background, I uh, hid my tiger and started working on the other three cats for the picture that would have all of them. I tried to do something a little different with the snow leopard, adding in little feathers here and there, but it, just, it, it looked like it had growths on it and I just couldn't unsee it once that thought came into my head, so I just had to like, get rid of them. Um, I did sort of put a little bit of the feathering on the chest, like I did with the tiger, and then a little bit of feathering on the forelegs. Uh, one of the big differences with the snow leopard is I had brought the fur the whole way down pretty much to the claw rather than having it stop at the elbow like I do for the tiger and the panther. The cheetah, I'm not sure where the fur or feathers stop because you can't actually see it as I have it back to the screen, I guess you'd call it. Um, but I had a lot of fun uh, with these three as well just like I did with the tiger. And I finished up my cheetah and I was just like, I love him so much. Why didn't I pick him? But at the same time, you can pretty much only see his back. So I didn't want to switch over to having the main focus of the thing and, and him being my contest piece just because you can't really see any of him. But I really do love how I did his wings. It just, they're so cool. And I did fix up the panther and its positioning and how big its beak is and stuff like that. As a, it's one of the reasons I hadn't liked my original sketch of him. So I like him a lot better now. And yeah, so I went through and added all their color in and their shading and added in some outside lighting and fixed up a few other little things here and there and then I was all done after a long, long time, but it honestly felt like no time at all, to be completely honest, and I think those are the best pictures where you know you worked on it forever, but it feels like just a few minutes. Alright, so my contest piece, as well as the final all four of them together piece, is done. And here is the one that I'm going to be entering for the contest, as I initially planned, as I did pick the tiger. I did have a slight had a problem, because I started doing the other ones, right? Right? And, and I did the cheetah. I was like, I'm... Uh, 
He looks so cool. But you can't really see any of him. So like I wanted to like switch over to like having it be the Cheeto one. But all you can really see is the wings. And I don't think that's really enough. But he looks so cool. I love how I did the wing and it just it looks so <sighs> I like my snow leopard too. He he looks fluffy, and I'm happy about that. I'm not as happy with how I did his wings, but I mean they're all right. I really do like how the tiger turned out. I just I really like Mitchy. He's so cute. But yeah, and I'm really happy with the uh, the landscape I've created, and it it looks like there's a good depth in it, which I'm really happy about. I'm happy about the uh, the perspective death and it yeah, death. The perspective depth. The, the, the P in there. <laughs> I like my water, both my little pond thing and my ocean. And uh, my sky. It's super simple, but I like my sky. But yeah, this is this is this and that that's that. There's not as much shadowing and such in this one. In, in the contest piece one, because I didn't want it to get too, like, blurry and muddy and, and stuff. I wanted it to, to stay a little bit clearer. Um, I mean, I might fix up the shadows a little bit, but probably not much. Really happy with this, and I hope Caitlin enjoys it, and I had fun. I mean, I worked, gosh, nine and a half hours straight on it. Because I had a day off from work, so I could do that. But yeah, no, I worked, like, legit nine and a half hours straight, and I was like, yeah. Because it's, it's, it's a good art piece when you can just plow through it. I th In my personal opinion, when you can just go from there to there and just be like, oh, I'm done. I have to go submit it and such, and I'll be posting both the contest piece, where it's just the White Tiger, as well as this piece on all of my different things that I post on. If you enjoyed this and any rambling I may have been doing, come join me both on Sundays and Wednesdays, and you can go check out my other social media things that I'm on, and go check out Caitlin's channel, obviously, because she's amazing, and I will... See you in my next video. Bye.